Hey, what's up guys, Steve here. And today we're gonna take a look at the 50 highest selling 1980s baseball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on October 8th. And we'll kick today's list off at number 50 with this 1989 Kmart Tony Gwynn, card number 29. This was a PSA 6 and it sold for $9.60. This card is a pop of two and a PSA 6, while a PSA 10 is a pop of 11. Up next at number 49 is this 1988 Fleer Tom Glavin Rookie, card number 539. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $10.80. This card is a pop of 1,847 in a PSA 9 compared to a pop of 1,857 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 48 is this 1987 Topps Barry Bonds Rookie, card number 320. This was an SGC 8, and it sold for $10.80. This rookie is a pop of 642 in a SGC 8. We're sticking to the same 1987 Topps set at number 47, this time with Mark McGuire's Rookie, card number 366. This was a BGS 8.5 and it sold for $12 even. This card is a pop of 1,279 in a BGS 8.5. Up next at number 46 is this 1988 Kenner starting lineup Wade Boggs. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $13.20. This card is a pop of 16 in a PSA 9, with 17 copies graded higher in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 45 is this 1986 Don Russ Nolan Ryan card number 258. This was an SGC 9 and it sold for $13.20. This card is a pop of 46 in a SGC 9, with 18 copies graded higher, including a pop of 8 and a SGC 10. Make that back-to-back -back appearances for Nolan Ryan at number 44, this time with his 1984 tops, card number 470. This was a BGS 8.5, and it also sold for $13.20. This card is a pop of 97 in a BGS 8.5. Up next at number 43 is this 1984 Don Russ Cal Ripken Jr. card number 106. This was an SGC 8.5 and it sold for $13.20. This card is a pop of 68 in a SGC 8.5. Coming in at number 42 is this 1982 Baseball Card News Lou Brock card number 9. This was an SGC 10, and it also sold for $13.20. This card is a pop of only one in a SGC 10 for the highest graded copy in a SGC slab. Up next at number 41 is this 1989 Fleer Bill Ripken Rookie, card number 616. This was the black box variation in a CGC 9, and it sold for $14.40. Coming in at number 40 is this 1988 Star Silver Edition Career Info Ken Griffey Jr. card number 2. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $15.60. This card is a pop of 13 in a PSA 8 compared to a pop of 5 in a PSA 9 and a PSA 10 is a population of only 1. Up next at number 39 is this 1984 Fleer Update Dwight Gooden Rookie, card number U43. This was a CGC 6.5, and it sold for $15.60. Coming in at number 38 is this 1982 Baseball Card News Ernie Banks, card number 11. This was an SGC 5, 
and it also sold for $15.60. This card is a pop of one in a SGC5 with only one copy graded higher in a SGC 8.5. Wade Boggs makes another appearance on today's list at number 37 with his 1989 Woolworth card number 8. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $16.80. This card is a pop of only 17 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 36 is this 1987 OPG Reggie Jackson card number 300. This was an SGC 8.5 and it sold for $16.80. This card is a pop of only one in a SGC 8.5 with only two copies graded higher, including a pop of one in a SGC 9.5 for the highest graded copy in a SGC slab. Coming in at number 35 is this 1986 Topps traded Bo Jackson rookie, card number 50T. This was a PSA 8, and it also sold for $16.80. This card is a pop of 4,506 in a PSA 8, compared to a pop of 1,129 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 34 is this 1986 Don Russ Jose Canseco rookie, card number 39. This was an SGC 8.5, and it sold for $18 even. This rated rookie is a pop of 242 in a SGC 8.5, while an SGC 10 is a pop of only 24 with no copies graded higher. Up next at number 33 is this 1983 Don Russ George Brett, card number 338. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $18 even. This card is a pop of 170 in a PSA 9, compared to a pop of 260 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 32 is this 1986 Don Russ the Rookies Bo Jackson Rookie, card number 38. This was a BGS 9, and it sold for $20.40. Up next at number 31 is this 1983 Topps Glossy All-Stars Ricky Henderson, card number 33. This was an SGC 8 and it sold for $20.40. The SGC pop reports are showing this is the highest graded copy of this Ricky Henderson in a SGC slab. And kicking off the top 30 of today's list is this 1985 Don Russ Roger Clemens Rookie, card number 273. This was an SGC 8.5 and it sold for $21.60. This card is a pop of 242 in a SGC 8.5 with 353 copies graded higher, including a pop of only one in a SGC Pristine Gold Label 10. Up next at number 29 is this 1980 Topps Woody Fryman, card number 607. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $22.80. This card is a pop of only 39 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 28 is this 1983 Starliner Stickers Roberto Clemente. This was an SGC 7 and it sold for $25.20. This card is a pop of 3 in a SGC 7 with 25 copies graded higher, including a pop of only 3 in a SGC 9.5. Up next at number 27 is this 1980 Topps Wayne Garland, card number 361. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $25.20. This card is a pop of only 37 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 26 is this 1985 Topps Don Mattingly, card number 665. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $26.40. 
This card is a pop of 667 in a PSA 9, compared to a pop of 116 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 25 is this 1980 Topps Willie Hernandez, card number 472. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $28.80. This card is a pop of 47 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 24 is this 1987 Leaf Bo Jackson rookie, card number 35. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $30 even. This rookie is a pop of 215 in a PSA 8, 227 in a PSA 9, compared to a population of 100 in a PSA 10. Nolan Ryan makes another appearance on today's list at number 23 with his 1993 Topps Glossy card number 28. This was a SGC 9 and it also sold for $30 even. This card is a pop of one in a SGC 9 for the highest graded copy in a SGC slab. Up next at number 22 is this 1983 Fleer Wade Boggs rookie card number 179. This was a CGC 9.5 and it sold for $32.40. Up next at number 21 is this 1983 Topps Traded Daryl Strawberry Rookie, card number 108T. This was a CGC 9.5 and it sold for $33.60. Tony Gwynn makes another appearance on today's list to kick off the top 20 with his 1983 Topps Rookie, card number 482. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $34.80. This rookie is a pop of over 15,000 in a PSA 8, over 5,000 in a PSA 9, compared to a much smaller population of 716 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 19 is this 1982 baseball card dude Stan Musial, card number 3. This was an SGC 9.5 and it sold for $37.20. This card is a pop of only one in a SGC 9.5 with no copies graded higher in a SGC slab. Coming in at number 18 is this 1986 Don Russ Highlights Bo Jackson Rookie, card number 43. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $38.40. While this rookie is a pop of 1,215 in a PSA 10, the more rare variation with highlights and white text is a pop of only 6 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 17 is this 1988 Fleer Glossy Barry Bonds, card number 322. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $40.80. This Barry Bonds is a pop of 117 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 16 is this 1983 Top Stickers Cal Ripken Jr. card number 26. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $43.20. This card is a pop of 28 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 15 is this 1981 Topps Bobby Mercer card number 602. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for just over $50. This card is a pop of 46 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 14 is this 1987 Topps Tiffany Roger Clemens card number 340. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $55.20. This card is a pop of 347 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 13 is this 1982 Fleer Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie card number 176. This was an SGC 9 and it sold for $58.80. 
This card is a pop of 111 in a SGC 9, with only 4 copies graded higher, including a pop of only 1 in a SGC 10. Coming in at number 12 is this 1985 Topps Roger Clemens Rookie, card number 181. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $62.40. This card is a pop of over 8,000 in a PSA 9, compared to a much smaller population of 362 in a PSA 10. Dave Winfield makes his first appearance on today's list at number 11, with his 1985 Topps Tiffany card number 705. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $72 even. This card is a pop of only 27 in a PSA 10. And kicking off the top 10 of today's list is this 1984 Topps Traded Tiffany Dwight Gooden Rookie, card number 42T. This was a CGC 9, and it sold for $72 even. Nolan Ryan makes another appearance on today's list at number 9, this time with his 1987 Topps, card number 757. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $81.60. This Nolan Ryan is a pop of 700 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 8 is this 1987 Perez Steel Great Moments Ernie Banks Auto, card number 21. This was a PSA DNA 10, and it sold for $100.80. Coming in at number 7 is this 1985 Topps Tiffany Harold Baines, card number 275. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $144. This card is a pop of only 8 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 6 is this 1981 Fleer Ricky Henderson card number 351. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $180. This card is a pop of 221 in a PSA 10. And we get our weekly regular Ricky Henderson to kick off the top 5 with his 1980 Topps Rookie card number 482. This was a BGS 8 and it also sold for $180. While this card is a pop of 1,358 in a BGS 8, the Beckett Pop reports are showing a pop of only one in a Gold Label 10 for the highest graded copy. Up next at number 4 is this 1985 Topps Tiffany Don Mattingly, card number 665. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $552. This card is a pop of 78 in the PSA 10. Coming in at number 3 is this 1989 Baseball Cards Magazine's Hand Cut Ken Griffey Jr. card number 63. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $600 even. This hand-cut Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie is a pop of 62 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 2 is this 1985 Topps Tiffany Eric Davis Rookie, card number 627. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $1,200. This rookie is a pop of 38 in a PSA 10. And topping off today's list at number 1 is this 1982 TCMA John Elway Rookie, card number 13. This was an SGC 10, and it sold for $1,740. This card is a pop of only 2 in an SGC 10. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.